Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to just talk about all of the pans that I have hit in the last three months. I did do a video back in June where I talked about all of the pans that I hit in the last half of the year but um you know I, I the number has shifted a little bit and I just wanted to share it with you all um uh, some of these probably won't be any surprise because I do talk about them in my videos there is one spoiler but um so if you haven't watched one of my videos that is coming out this month I don't know if it's going to be posted before this video or not then <laughs> there is one spoiler in here but otherwise you've all seen these pans before I thought it'd be fun to just see where I am now that we have three months left of the year and I could do like an end of year recap I did hit pan in my glowish from Huda Beauty I love this powder this is like my favorite powder at the moment and I had it in my shop my stash and I hit pan in it uh, I've only had this a year I think it's been about a year, maybe a little bit less than a year. <laughs> I really love it. It is so creamy, it's so powdery. I definitely want to repurchase it. It is very expensive for what it is. And I don't know, I don't feel like you get a lot of product, but I do like it, so I probably will repurchase it. Next up, I hit pan in my Natasha Denona face palette. This is the bronze palette. And I hit pan in this cream highlighter right here. And as you can see, it is lovely and juicy. This was also in my Shop My Stash. It was unexpected. I was just using the whole palette. I wasn't trying to hit pan. Uh, same with the Glowish. I wasn't trying to hit pan. I was just using it naturally. So these are natural pans, and I always love to get natural pans. It is even better. Um, I could probably try to get pan in this one too. They're obviously cream, and they are more malleable than anything else. But yeah, this one I hit pan in a month ago maybe a month and a half ago next up this one is in project but I hit pan in one of my uh, blush creams in here this is the elf electric mood palette and I hit pan in this blush right here so this was on purpose I am trying to pan this <laughs> and um, yeah I'm trying to finish it but yeah I hit pan in this one so that is exciting too all right next up we've just got eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadow pans, so let's think about this. I want to try to do it in order, but I don't think I'm going to. All right, I think this is an order. I'm gonna start with the Book of Magic. I did have pans in this in my previous video, but I have hit two more pans since then. Actually, three more pans. Wow, okay, so I'll just talk about all three of these. The first one that I hit pan on was this one, Alchemy, which I was working on at the time that I filmed my last video. I hit pan in this in my pan nose eyeshadows. The next pan that I hit was Alexia right here, which I hit in my Zodiac Panna. And then I hit Wish over here, again, in my Zodiac Panna Project Pan. So this palette, I think, now has the most pans in it in my collection which is pretty exciting. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pans in here, and they are mostly matte, which is interesting. Only two shimmers and four mattes. I really love this palette. It is my only, like, bigger size Beauty Bay palette, and I really, really enjoy the formula, but the pans are so shallow, so it's not hard for me to hit pan, and this is the easiest one that I, <laughs> I have in my collection. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. I would love to expand on this more, but I have stopped using it the last month because I did give it a lot of attention this year as I should do because I really enjoy it interesting enough obviously in this lid um, shade I actually haven't used that all that much so I don't have pan in that one which you would expect I would do um, this was the first one that I hit pan in again from my pan those eyeshadows oh no was it I think it was enchanted and then it was this one or oh, it was enchanted and moonlight I'm not sure but anyway enough said this one I have six pans in, three of them I got in the last three months, which is really exciting. Next up, we've got the Revolution uh, Chilled Palette. This one, I already had two pans in it, and now I'm gonna share with you two more pans. So that is very exciting. So I did talk about this in my previous video, um, but this one got a lot of love from me this year as well. I had it in my pan, those eyeshadows, and then I had it as a focus palette, I believe, or maybe I just had two shades, um, 
Oh no, I, I rolled one of the shades in my Zodiac Panna. But anyway, I already had these two pans in here. These two I got in the first six months of this year, but the last three months I hit pan in this shade Natural in my Pan Those Eyeshadows, I think after the 20th use. And then this one I had in my Pan Those Eyeshadows last year, and I finally hit pan in it this year because I rolled it into my Zodiac Panna. I used it for, I think, once or twice, and then I suddenly hit pan. So I've got four pans in here now, which is really, really exciting. Obviously this is not the best quality Makeup Revolution, but I do enjoy this palette. I have a little bit of nostalgia with this palette. So I do like it even though it's not the best quality. Um, the glitter shades are horrendous though. So if you're gonna get it for that, please don't. Okay, next up I hit Pan in my Huda Beauty Desert Dust. I've been working on this a long time, again, in my Zodiac Panna. I've also had some shades in here from my Panna's eyeshadows, but I haven't done uh, as well on those. But the um, the only pan that I have in here is the Oud shade right here, which is, like I said, in my Zodiac Pano. I am still trying to pan this shade. Um, and then this one was in my Pano's eyeshadows, but I hit the 20 uses and I'm no longer working on it. But yeah, I really do enjoy this palette and I'm glad that I have an itty bitty tiny pan. The pans are super, super deep in this. I wasn't um, prepared for that. Okay, next up, I did a little side hustle and I'm still doing it. I just haven't updated anyone about it because I'm still trying to hustle. <laughs> but I'm doing a side hustle pan, um, sort of within my pan those eyeshadows for the year. Um, all of the shades that I use, I've been tracking on a spreadsheet. And um, I, I kind of wanted to see which shades I have in my collection that I've used a lot but still have no pan. So I've kind of filtered through, gone to the top of the list. And one of the, like the top one on the list at the time was a shade in my original Naked palette from Urban Decay. And it was this shade called Naked right here. And I used this about five times as a sort of a side hustle, not really in any other project, just my own project, and I hit pan in it. I have a tiny little itty bitty pan in that, which is nice because this is um, one of the oldest palettes I have in my collection, I believe, at this point. So, you know, it'd be nice to get some more pans in here. I do want to pull this out. I don't know if the formula is still good. I imagine it still is. doesn't smell or anything, but I want to get some more use out of it. It is definitely... Um, an oldie but a goodie for me and yeah I want to play around with it more but yeah I got pan in this shade. Next up I've got pan in my Just My Luck from Colourpop. This one I've been working on a long time in my pan those eyeshadows and it is the shade All of You right here. I really do enjoy it but it took a long time. <laughs> it is a deep pan and it took a long time. This a Colourpop is hard for me to pan it really is which is not a bad bad problem to be honest they are pretty affordable and you get quite a bit of product so uh, a little pro you know a lot of product goes a long way which is actually pretty decent in my mind uh because the price is so good but yeah this one is a beautiful green shade and i hit pan in it in the last three months so that was exciting this next one was probably the easiest pan i've hit pan on this year it's my baby got peach from ColourPop, and it is just this uh, glitter shade because the glitter shades really don't do anything for me and you just put your finger in there and suddenly you hit pan I really didn't even try to hit pan this fast. I think I used it twice. I used it on my nails and I also put it on my eyes, but um, Yeah, it, it just went everywhere. It wasn't my favorite glitter that I've tried from Colourpop, but they're all pretty much the same Okay, next up I hit pan in my Nomad palette, uh, the Cartagena Magica palette this one I've been working on a long time. I finally hit pan in it. It is right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I had it in my Zodiac Pana for um, a good many months. I think maybe four or five months before I hit pan. And I think I used it about 20 times or more. Um, so yeah, that one took a really long time. This one took me six uses. This one took me 20 uses. They're both shimmer shades. I didn't understand it, but <laughs> it is what it is. And it's a beautiful shade. I really do like it, but I was getting sick of it, so I'm glad that I hit pan in that one. And then the last one that I hit pan on is the spoiler. Um, so this is in my current Zodiac Pana update, and I don't know if that's posted yet, but this is the Miele uh, palette, the Yasmin palette from Miele Beauty, and I hit pan in this shade called Adilla, this, um, this last month. So that is super exciting. I've been working on this shade for about five months now so <laughs> it was bound to happen and I finally have a pan in this, in this palette which is really exciting 
So I'm going to be rolling this one out, but obviously if you haven't seen that update, just go check it out. But this is really cool. Um, I think this one took me a good maybe 10 times, 11 times. I'm not entirely sure. I'll put it up on the screen if I remember to. But yeah, that one I hit pan in. So those are all the pans I've hit in the last three months. It is a smaller group of pans than my previous video because that obviously was six months, but I think it's still a pretty decent amount. I counted and it's 14 pans and I think my last video was 19 pans within six months. So this is like half the time and almost almost the same amount of pans. So that is really, really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get the same, <laughs> the same amount of numbers in the next three months considering I'm filming this mid-October. So really the next two and a half months, let's say two months, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little update. I thought it'd be fun to just go through and just for my own sake, just to see how well I'm doing, which is really cool. So obviously given the tolls, that's 33 pounds in the year, which for me is a really exciting number. I know that's very low for some people, but I think that is super, super high for me. Um, especially since last year, I probably only hit I don't know, maybe 10 pounds for the whole year. It was not like this year. So um, I'm really happy with my progress. And as long as I'm still having fun with everything, then that's all that matters. But anyway, yeah, I thought it'd be a nice, fun video to do this. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.